Well, the internet always has something to say about the Kardashian family. The family lies in clout and the only thing that makes them famous are the controversies they face. Keeping Up With The Kardashians is a show that generally reflects a life that is relatable to many. From unhappy marriages to life-threatening situations. From Kanye West to Justine Skye. Well, being born and growing up on camera might be a very good start to a career, but sometimes it just seems a little too personal and a bit too spicy to ignore. The family is a walking ad campaign, and when the trip goes down there is a controversy always around the corner. They have been the talk of the internet for a long time and that's basically how their business works. It is called the Kardashian curse. Now, let's start with the early days of Kylie. She grew up in a posh area studying in the same school as the Karate Kid actor, Jaden Smith. They kicked it off big time and were even rumored to be dating, but Kylie wanted a lady BFF that's when Jordan Woods joined the picture. And damn, that friendship. They even had a private ceremony taking oaths and vows to remain besties forever. Well, the fads for the clout. And soon Jordan became a part of this family. But this was short-lived. My lady here went on to kiss a guy that shattered the vows they took in the ceremony. But how does a kiss do that? That must have been a dirty ass kiss. Well, we might have to flip the Instagram history book here and see what happened. So Khloe Kardashian was the insecure one in the bunch. Khloe was very unhappy as she was allegedly the least attractive one in the bunch. Well, she is pretty but the competition is high. The fat sibling had a very hard life as she body shamed herself with her inferiority complex. Well, we're way past that now but those days you weren't good enough. But Khloe got married to Lammer, the charming prince who just made her life even worse. The next thing you know, she is engulfed in addiction, being cheated on, and also faced with a couple of life-threatening situations. Now, keep in mind that the Kardashian feeds off controversy, and this is free marketing, and the Kylie Jordan ceremony fad might seem cute and you might want to write that in your journal as friendship goals number 69 before scratching it off after what happened. This was all just a reality show's scripted scene. And do you know how much pressure it is after that like they're both entitled to something like a free pass to a friendship cage? When she wants you, you gotta be there, and when you want space. You ain't no good friend, well just another day with the Kardashians. This is not a healthy way of maintaining a friendship. Well, she was a model before she was a Kardashian. Being known as Kylie's friend, and Kylie's friend only, doesn't that remind you of the movie Mean Girls? Anyway, so where was I? In K.H. Lowe's toxic marriage, she tried to save the sinking ship, but couldn't, and it fell off with two autographs on divorce papers. Oh. No. But Chloe is not devastated now, she is stronger than ever onto the next episode where she is seen reinventing herself, getting that revenge body, and after she gets it. Then what? Another marriage with Tristan Thompson. Now that she has the revenge body, it is happily ever after. Now my luck and love is rejuvenated and I am going to be a happy woman. But Tristan's ex gives birth to a baby. Now, rumor has it that Tristan cheated on his baby mama with Chloe. But who would possibly spill the beans on that? That too on national TV. Well, Tristan's ex straight up said no comments and shrugged it off. Now, Tristan and Chloe got married and soon she was pregnant. Maybe the revenge body was lucky after all. Keeping up with the Kardashian is hard. What's next, the Kardashian curse? It is almost like their home is made up of glass and everything they do is being watched. I guess the whole show was just equivalent to an obsessive vlog that now we can normally see on YouTube. Kylie is in shock now, profusely texting her friends to know what happened. Well, the drama on this show is next level. Jordan was sucked into this life of paparazzi stalking them around, we all love our privacy not everyone can live in and around cameras like the Kardashians. So this step of Jordan smooching on Tristan leads to a crack that leads to the breaking of the BFF vow. This was probably her first failed shot at Pistiz. The second one however is much more personal. Kylie was intrigued by Tyga when he performed at Kendall's Sweet 16 party. And the next thing you know they started dating. Well, Chloe expressed that she was doing things that 30-year-olds do and should not be questioned on her choices. Well, they kicked it off, love was in the air for Kylie. Such cute couples, while Tyga was still with his baby mother. Well, 
What could go wrong? Controversy is key for the Kardashians. If and so here we are a 14-year-old dating a 21-year-old. Well, it is pretty normal looking at Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jones. I guess, you know what they say, all is fair in love and war. But, they broke up and after a couple of weeks, Kylie was back at it with Travis Scoot. The next thing you know Kylie is pregnant, with Stormy. This is even more controversial as their spectators guess, who does the father, this was enough to stir up more controversy. But we're only touching on the part where Justine Skye left the picture. But why? Well, turns out that Travis was romantically involved with Justine shortly before they started dating. Another one, controversy as their fans or spectators put their thinking hat on thinking why Justine left the link with the stars. I mean, these girls were practically non-existent and now if you type their name in Kylie or something related just pops up in the recommendation. This makes me realize is it really a reality show playing out or an elaborate hunt for controversy to be famous? Or maybe they're just kids making mistakes. These are the most highlighted incidents on the other hand, Kylie's friend's circle is very small. With Anastasia Karanikale who's standing strong by her side. Ariel Tejada, her makeup artist. And I hope that Victoria Villarol still texts her from time to time even if she's not her personal assistant anymore. Anyway as much as I dug in Jaden Smith didn't come into the picture after school. Well, he is a smart guy. He knows what's good. Fame can get hard sometimes. I may imagine the world wanting to meet you for once in their lifetime. While you're locked up in a room in isolation, scared that people could cheat on you and see you as a thing for entertainment. Being famous only looks glamorous from the crowd. But a life with no privacy and with every move you make making it into the headlines. I mean, let the girl grow, make mistakes, become a better person. As studies have shown that fame leads to the person in question developing a kind of multiple personality disorder where they portray themselves as this fake celebrity self-smiling to the camera but behind closed doors, they're just so tired of calculating their every move not to make a negative headline again. The authentic self is where the famous person becomes himself. This is a survival technique in the hyperkinetic and heady atmosphere associated with a celebrity's life. I didn't mean to hurt anyone with this script. I know a lot of you like Kylie, but just see her as a person for a bit. Let her leave life just like how you do. And I would like to end the video on this note. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here and like the video, tell us something we don't know about the Kardashians in the comment below and we will see you next time.